Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today is going to be an absolutely epic pruning day at The Ranch. I'm going to take a whole bunch of trees um, that have just come out of dormancy. They're starting to bud up. I'm going to take them outside because it's beautiful and sunny, prune them on the outdoor table, absorb some vitamin D3 myself. And um, I mean, these are tons of trees. We've got my, these are the Trident Maples. You saw them last week. They have exploded, so they've already been pruned. But amongst them, there are some Zelkovas, there are some, we've got the birch forest planting with Arbor Vitae, uh, we've got a sweet birch planting, tons of coastal redwoods, and I don't know, we're just going to get at it. So if I think about it and I and can do it relatively easily, I will clip in what species of tree I'm working on. But otherwise, I'm going to set this to a time lapse and just get to work, y'all. So um, I'm excited about it. That's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. Stop this video here and continuing on because I took a lot more time with these three than um, the majority of what I have left. The rest are seedlings. This was a, a verbanum, is a verbanum that I yamadoried from uh, underneath my front steps here at the ranch. And it was so cool. And uh, so I was just doing some dead wood work. I don't want to do any more because I was getting aware it's no longer dead. But you see. I wanted it to look more like it was struck by lightning a long time ago and it's really been worn down over time. Last year I just kind of like had that, I was seeing if that was alive or if there were any veins coming out of it, which there are, um, or branches coming out of it. So uh, towards the bottom it is alive and I'm starting to get some buds right at the base of it. I don't know if we could see that. Boom, those green things, yes. Okay, so. I think it's starting to look really cool. So, uh, just brought it back in. It grew pretty tall last year. It'll probably do the same. It's kicking off nice, healthy buds. Okay. And then this azalea, it had a lot of division uh, right up top, and it was kind of unattractive. And so it just got its first uh, pruning last fall. So this was pretty much just taking out where there's multiples up top and uh, leaving 
the majority of the tips because it seems to be where they butt up is right at the end of the tip. So unless I didn't want the branch at all, I left it. And this one's got some gnarly looking bark already. Had this a couple of years. And then lastly, this was like a rescue. I, I don't really even know if I like it. <laughs> I like the smell of rosemary and I like to use it in the kitchen, um, but. I don't know. So it was a circular topiary. I took out some of the uglier branches, made it its canopy kind of tighter, but kept it round. So maybe in the future, I will see if there's any cool branches and we could do something different with it. But for now, it's just like a little puff, circular puff. So that's going to do it for right now here at the ranch all. And uh, this will be the end of part one, spring pruning at the ranch. So uh, hope you all have a great day. Take care.